It's known for fine wine, good food and high fashion. But just one week out from the start of school, the Education Minister's holiday in France has taken a turn. She had a PCR test on Monday. The result came through last night. She spoke to me last night. It was positive. Sarah Courtney has been holidaying in Europe since the middle of last month. She was due to return this week, but will now have to isolate until Sunday. I would hope that she would be here before the school year starts on the 9th. I don't think that passes the pub test. Jeremy Rockcliffe's hands are already full as Health Minister, but he's picked up Sarah Courtney's portfolios in her absence. Meanwhile, relief teachers and those who have retired have been asked if they can fill in when school staff are hit by COVID-19. Everyone deserves a break, but we are approaching the most unsettling start to the school year in living memory. We have deep anxiety amongst the Tasmanian community and we don't have an education minister on deck. The Greens leader says it should be au revoir to Sarah Courtney's time in Cabinet, likening the jaunt to the Prime Minister's holiday in Hawaii during the 2019 bushfires. The peak body for parents says it's not a good look. We still have over half uh, the population of uh, students not vaccinated. We have uh, teachers still very anxious and concerned. Peter Gutwin says it's entirely appropriate for Sarah Courtney to have taken leave at this time. He was admitted to hospital last year after falling ill inside his office. He'd burned out after working a consecutive 46 days. I'd be happy to um, have a debate with anybody in respect of whether or not a minister should have an appropriate break. Tasmania recorded 666 new cases of coronavirus today. Two people are in intensive care and 13 in hospital. As to how many cases there'll be when school goes back... I think it's impossible to predict that I'm not going to just throw a guess out there. A minister hoping for mercy in a potential political firestorm. Emily Baker, ABC News.